Hey everyone, this is Nick LaRue from Film Snobbery. I'm here at the First Glance Film Festival, the 25th Annual Film Festival here at the Colonial Theater in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Who am I here with today? You're here with Danny Donnelly. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> and I am uh, the director, editor, producer, sound designer of the short film Something Borrowed, and I'm also an actor in the short film Dear Mirror. Which one do you like doing better, the one with more or less responsibility? Uh... I've come to find out after acting for over 13 years now that I like the control. <laughs> <laughs> so hence is why I started making my own films and getting in behind the camera as well. Gotcha, I gotcha. And so as far as making something borrowed, what were some of the, the bigger challenges of making that? Because oh, it's it's, I've seen it. It's, it's really good. It's, it's a, basically two locations, mm -hmm. which is good. And because you know, that keeps money down. Um, yep. <laughs> love the club scene. Thank you. Thank um, you. What were some of the challenges? All right, well, uh, first one, we shot the, all the beach house stuff, uh, which is my fiance, Amy, who's also the writer and star. Um, it's her mom's shore house. So we had that location, which was great, but we only had it for one weekend. So we shot all that stuff in two days, which was intense. So most of that stuff you see was shot at like 3 a.m., but it was lit for day. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Day for night. No, yeah, night yeah. for day. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, we actually went on hiatus for a while mm -hmm. um, and ended up shooting a series in between and then came back to the bar scene a couple years later. Wow. Yeah, which is why it's also two different cameras we had to use for that. Okay. So the bar stuff possible that makes, more. I was going to mm -hmm. say, that makes a whole lot of difference. Yes, yes, it does. Yes. Yeah, more equipment, more lighting, more experience. Did you puke? No, I did not. Matter! <laughs> Aspirin. Something. Cabinet. By the sink. Poor girl. <sighs> why, 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 why? I think it was my idea. I can't really remember, but I think it was. <laughs> you guys, I have an epic idea. Let's pretend you're getting married and have the bachelorette party tonight. This is gonna be so much fun. We totally needed this. Ladies, what can I get you? It's her bachelorette party, mm -hmm. so we like some shots. Well, that sounds like fun. Oh, it was definitely your idea. Definitely. Hey, we're here. Are you up there? Oh, shit! They come for brunch. Um, and then we got to the bar stuff, and we shot that in February of 2020. Okay. Right before the pandemic. Yes. So there was about 35 of us in a bar shooting, unbeknownst to us that there was a, a virus going around. We didn't know yet. And then, <laughs> yeah, so luckily no one got sick. We had a great time. And Oh, good, because yeah. I thought we were about to cut to an in memoriam. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. well, hopefully we're good. Um, we're good. So you said that your fiancé was the one who wrote it. Yes. All right, so your fiancé wrote a thing about a movie about doing a fake bachelorette party. You got to film said ba fake bachelorette party. Mm -hmm. Any nervousness that that bachel fake bachelorette party may be similar to what a real one may look like? <laughs> um, no, no. Uh, we're we, uh, we're we getting married. Key. We're getting, yeah, we're very low key. I, uh, I shoot a lot of weddings as a videographer, and, and uh, we decided we're going to go low key. Well, low key, we're going to Scotland in November. No, oh, yeah, low, that's low key. It's still low yeah. key, but it's just like an intimate thing to yeah. us. So, yeah. A little low key scotch, yeah. scotch action <laughs> yeah. up in the Highlands. Exactly. Greg's. Yep. No, I don't know. It's great. It's great. We're getting married in the Highlands. Go to yeah. the Highlands in the Highlands. Be careful with the Highlander. Don't lose your head. Uh, <laughs> I'm so horrible. Anyway, so you, uh, you, so you're here for the second movie as well. So, mm -hmm. how long were? Tell me a little bit about your role in that movie. Uh, so the short film. 
the horror film is called Dear Mirror. Uh -huh. It was directed by S.J. Doss, produced by Nick Petros. Um, it also stars um, Christina Aponte and Susan Moses. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a horror film. It's, a, it's kind of like there's a boyfriend and a girlfriend. The girlfriend's away, and they really want to see each other. She hears about this cool game. It's, like a, it's called Dear Mirror. You go into the mirror, you repeat a certain phrase, and then, oh my goodness, his girlfriend appears. But he's not allowed to turn around and look at her. They're going to talk within the mirror. Oh. Yeah. You stand in front of the mirror at midnight, turn off all the lights, you light a candle, close your eyes, and you say this. Dear mirror, never so clear, I really miss my love, so please bring her here. <laughs> okay. Nice and little if he twist on like around, that. Shit goes down. Sh shit goes down. So uh, I'll just leave it. At it's, that. No, it's a nice little twist on like the Bloody Mary kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah, or yep. Candyman-ish or whatever mm -hmm. you want. Yeah, that I like that. That's always good. Now, I, as someone who's now both behind and in front of the camera, and you're at the same time at a festival. If you, if you have to, you know, you say you uh, submit to two different festivals, they both get in, but they're separate festivals. Which one do you go to? The one you direct or the one you star in? Uh, I'm putting them on the spot. Probably the Come one on. I direct because there's other actors who could probably fill in. Exactly, okay. and I don't See, love I'm that watching mean. myself when I'm in front of the camera. I, usually, when I'm an actor, I I go to a premiere or something just to support the filmmaker but me personally I hate watching myself because really? I, I can't enjoy the film until like maybe like the tenth time I've seen it. Is and it I'm more like, oh. of the criticism of your own performance yeah. or okay. Yeah, yeah 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 I'm very hard on myself so. Okay mm -hmm. now as a director though how are you on you know like you say your fiance you're like do it better. <laughs> <No? Yeah. laughs> um, honestly it wasn't much of that I mean since I was behind the camera and directing and lighting and kind of doing it all it was more like I just trusted my actors Mm -hmm. I would watch them rehearse and watch what they were doing, then adjust my camera and blocking based on their natural instincts. Mm -hmm. And we cast really well, and these actors have, just, have worked for years. So it was like, they were all friends. So chemistry was already there, and everyone was just, it was just a good time, actually, on set. That's great. Stressful for me, but good time for them. Good for them, time for them, which yeah. is how it's going to be. Welcome to married life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got seven years on you on that one. Uh, I've been yeah. together 11 years. Just Ooh. not married yet. Oh. <laughs> Golf changes, man. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I used to be, you know, like I used to have hair. Oh, <laughs> no, man. No, I'm and I'm starting I'm to kidding. go now. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like cheating it. <laughs> no, it's all good. So let me ask. What, all right, so you're here at the First Glance Film Festival. What, is there anything in particular that made you choose this festival over any other ones, what, local or otherwise? Um, I mean, definitely that it's local. Yeah. We live in uh, Westchester, like 25 minutes from here, so we always wanted to... I mean, we hang out in Phoenixville a lot, and the fact that I never been at a Colonial Theater and was showing the Colonial Theater on a—I mean, mostly all the festivals I've been at, there's maybe like five actually shown on like a screen. Yeah. And then during a the pandemic, it was all like virtual, so right. I've only seen the film play once with an audience. Yep. So and it's a comedy, so I want to hear the laughs. I want to see if it, right. You know, so I needed—I didn't know how it plays, and so I'm just really looking forward to it playing here. At the Two Colonial. interesting facts, you know. When one, one of them, I was talking to someone off camera. One was that first glance even during the pandemic never fully went virtual they always actually had screenings and mm -hmm. i've always been in some sort of a you know not always always but as far as i've always been with them they've always been in some sort of actual theater and that has always been you know a good hallmark of that yeah. so that's why i keep coming back i also like the fact that they program comedy no one else ever does yeah, you know? I, I, yeah do, you, do you find it hard to like you're submitting comedy i i write comedy sometimes and i can't get anyone to read it yeah, actually. Part of it is I know it has to be good, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's hit or miss. You know, it depends on the type of comedy. I mean, it's, it's I was saying, I, I think we got into a lot more festivals, especially doing a comedy after the pandemic. I okay. think people wanted, wanted to, to laugh. laugh. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yeah. Well, we thank you for being here at the First Glance Film Festival, and thank you for coming to chat with me here. And, yeah. you know, we wish you the best for all the laughs and, and all the scares. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see all what right. happens. Thank right. you much. Thank you. All right. Yeah.